Hey, y'all. So we're gonna tap in now and see what spirit wants you to receive. This is gonna be for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. What do they need to receive, squad? Bottom of the deck, we have uh, conclusions are within reach and you're very close to, reach, to achieving your goal. So we have here that your commitment is being tested right now. Like I feel like there is something that you want to manifest, something that you want to bring into fruition, like a goal or something, or maybe you have a business, some type of creative project, something that you're trying to bring into fruition and Spirit is testing you right now. They're trying to see how bad you really want this. All right. Um, they're telling you that nothing is yet set in stone. So they're trying to tell you, like, if you was thinking, you know, either if you was cocky, thinking that you're going to be able to do this, um, they're telling you, no, nothing is set in stone. Like, it's, it could it could happen for you, but nothing is like, nothing is promised because you have to make some type of adjustments. There's something that needs to be done with, um, with all of this, and I feel like it's probably that you need to just take a break because we have a time for healing. So maybe Spirit is trying to tell you, take a break right now to contemplate what it is that, that you're going to do, what's the next step and shit like that. Because that's like the theme that we've been getting today with all the signs <laughs> that Spirit is saying like shit is about to get popping, shit is about to get real, you know? So right now you just need to take a, a step back and just, you know, plan everything out, you know, figure out what's going to be, you know, the plan to, to get it popping. I feel like that's the required um, adjustment that you need to just take some time right now to just chill out. Because again, it, it's going to come in and it's going to come in strong, this new beginning, okay? And it's going to be something that's going to pop off for you. And um, I feel like Spirit is telling you, you're going to need all your energy, okay? So your commitment is being tested, nothing is set in stone, conclusions are in reach, and you are close to achieving your goal. So you are going to be able to do it, all right? But just do what spirit is telling you right now just take a break to figure out what's what was the steps gonna be to do this that's literally the message i've been getting for all the readings today okay the only closure you need is knowing you deserve better and we have pulled your energy back Bottom of the deck we have, it won't stay like this forever. So I feel like one of these adjustments could be that you have to release something. And we do see healing. So you probably are healing from something that when it comes to love. And they're telling you that this person is, like, they're not, they're not good for you. Yeah, like this person is not good for you. Now, the reason that I feel like they're telling you that is because I have here the um new romantic cycle begins but this is like a love card so i don't feel like they're telling you a new love romantic cycle is beginning i feel like they're telling me to look at that so i could see what is the vibe here and the vibe i feel like it is some type of love message like whatever you're trying to do this person you have to let them go um and i feel like they are probably low vibrational or they're gonna stop your you know they're trying to block your blessings by being so low vibrational, you know, like they probably having you distracted. Maybe, you know, they got you distracted. They got you worrying about shit that you shouldn't be worried about. Or maybe you ended up, um, like having to, 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 to break up with this person or something. But I feel like spirit is telling you, like, leave that person in the past. All right. You don't need no damn closure. Like the closure that you need is knowing that you deserve better. All right. And pull your energy back from this person. So I feel like they're just telling you, like, just release that person because that person could end up, you know, stopping your blessings. And that shit is real. Okay, trust me, I know. Maybe, you know, that dude that you like so much could be a toxic ass nigga. And he don't even know he blocking your blessings. He just know that he's a fuck boy. And he just want to keep fucking you and shit like that. But he's blocking your blessings. And they holding you back energetically. And that's what Spirit is trying to tell you to do. Heal from this relationship, from these people. Because that's what's required for you to get this abundance. Okay, you learned something new today. Because that was something I needed to learn too. I didn't know that. Even to do what I'm doing now, Spirit told me I had to release a whole lot of people, a lot of low vibrational people and niggas too, you know, niggas that I probably like and shit like that. They were like, nope, you cannot keep doing this. You're not going to be able to get on a high vibration if you keep fucking with these people. So you have to release them. And I feel like that's what Spirit is sending you here as well. All right. You're going to attract better. Matter of fact, this card could be even telling you that you are going to, you know, have new love coming in. But you have to let go of this one first. All right, let me get an angel number. 
All right, uh, look up angel number three, 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 four. 334 or just look for it in the comments i'm going to start posting it in the comments now all right 334 and that's your message from spirit i hope i was able to give you clarity tap in